Welcome back to Von Kettle Kitchen. So tonight I am making a buffalo chicken soup. It is cold. It is in the mid 20s right now here in Connecticut and I just got home. Everything is prepped. So let's get going on a super easy, maybe 10 minute recipe. On an instant pot or even on this, you have a brown or saute. So we just want to do that. We're gonna hit start. So it's gonna start heating up itself and we're going to get all the veggies started to saute. All right, so I'm gonna drizzle in a little bit of olive oil, just a couple turns of the pan. So it's probably about a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon. That is already starting to heat up. I have a half of red onion diced. I have one large carrot diced, and I also have the tops of some celery and one rib of celery diced as well. You can put other vegetables if you would like. These just remind me of chicken wings themselves, so that's why I use the carrot, celery, and onions. I do have four cloves of garlic peeled and ready to go. I'm going to grate them in as this starts to saute. So that's when I give it just about four minutes before I put the garlic in. So let me show you how pretty colored it is. All right, and we are going to wait for that to start getting all nice and hot. All right, so this is sauteing nicely. And you just want to saute it until the onions are translucent. I have some leftover chicken, so that's why I am making this meal. I'm gonna grate in the four cloves of garlic. I like to do this so you don't bite down on a huge chunk. And since you're going to be using, you're touching the garlic and you've diced the onions, to get the smell of garlic and onions out of your skin, out of your fingers, just rub your hands on anything stainless steel. So like your faucet, just wet your fingers, give them a nice rinse so your hands aren't sticky. Ooh, run away garlic. So it's not sticky. Once you rub it on the stainless steel, it really does get rid of that smell. Not entirely sure why, but it works. So now we're just going to give this a nice stir. I'm going to add in a nice pinch of salt. That helps store out any of the moisture in the vegetables. And a nice pinch of black pepper. Onions are almost translucent, so we'll wait a couple more minutes. I'm going to use the brown for a moment. I am going to put six ounces of cream cheese in my blender. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to use my immersion blender in this pot because I don't want to have a creamy and no texture of chicken soup. But I do want it to be creamy. If you put cream cheese into a hot soup, it gets all, it gets like a funny consistency to it and it kind of like chunks out, it doesn't stay smooth. So to fix that, I'm going to add, because so you need four cups of stock all together, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of stock in there. And then once this is done and completed, I will pull out a ladle of stock and put it in with the six ounces of cream cheese and I will blend in, which then will give it a nice smooth consistency and I'll pour it back in to the soup itself with the um, half and half, which then you'll have a nice creamy soup. So this is just about done. So I am going to shut off the actual pot itself. I'm going to put in the chicken. You want to use about a pound. I'm just going to break that up a little bit. I'm using my fridge. I already have it pre shredded. So when I took the chicken off the bone, I just had it all nice and ready. Alright. So, pre 
three and a half cups of stock will go into the pot because we put half into the blender with the cream cheese. We'll do another two. The reason the stock looks like this is because it's the stock I've made myself. And then because it is a buffalo chicken soup, I love Frank's Red Hot and I love their wing sauce. So I'm gonna put in three tablespoons. If you want it spicier, you can add in one, enough, as much as you really want. So I'm actually gonna add in four for ourselves. But for just a regular heat, add three. If you want it to be mild, add two tablespoons. So I'm gonna give this a nice stir. So there's a nice orange hue. And I'm gonna bring it to the front so I can show you how to cook it. And it's at natural pressure release. I'm just gonna stop and hit the valve. And that's just releasing the excess pressure. So that's gonna take about a minute and then we will get it all nice and creamy and serve. Now that all the steam has exhausted, as I always say, if there's extra, open it away from you. I just want to take some of this stock so I can put it in with the cream cheese mixture. Put that off to the side. All right, and we're going to give this a nice little blend. So now that it's nice and smooth, it won't get a weird consistency. It won't get clumpy on you. So we'll add that. Half a cup of heavy cream or half and half, or you can just use regular milk. We're gonna give this a nice stir. Let me see if I can bring you in. There we go. All right. So now the soup is ready to be served. Enjoy.